happen. So we're going to now go to this icon here, which represents a remote control. I press the button and I have now floating over the top of my desktop the Lynx remote control. By moving the remote control around screen, I can actually change the shape of the remote control, which enables you to conveniently drop it in a position of your choice in the shape of your choice. But what I'll do, I'll leave it there in the middle of my screen so we can all see it. Right, what can I do with this remote control? So, say I'm operating with a Word document. So I'll bring up a Word document here which has some information on it. Word is now currently the live document. We can tell this because obviously here in this, just before the S, the cursor is flashing, signifying that Word is live. However, I might want to do some annotation on top of this document. So what I can do is I can come to the pencil icon here. For now, I'll select static annotation. This has the effect, with a double click, of taking a snapshot in time of the Word document. We can tell that the Word document is not live anymore because the cursor has stopped flashing here. And we may now want to go to some of the um, buttons that we know and we've seen before. For example, this is the blocked highlighter function because we're talking about this being an important part of the document. And this would be another import, important part of the document showing the projector on the end of a boom arm. If I now decide to come out of this mode, we've seen from um, previous work that the square with the arrows pointing inwards takes us back. Word is again the live document. The cursor is flashing again on screen. I'll close Word down. And when we return to links now, lo and behold, I'll go back to full screen mode. There is that slide as it was captured with my annotations on. So using the handset now allows me to jump in and jump out of links. So once again, I'll activate the handset mode. The handset is now once again floating over my desktop. So a static annotation takes a snapshot in time of any application, could be internet, could be Excel spreadsheet, anything else that you're working on and allows you to annotate on top of it. We may want to do this the other way around. So what I'll do now I'll go and open now a blank Word document. Word is again the live document here, but this time I might want to go to what's called exportable annotation with a double click. I can now create some work on top of a Word document and when I'm ready to export it, I go down here my work is now dropped into the Word document. If I go back to links, of course, there's nothing on that slide because I've not created anything within links. I've worked outside of links with the remote handset, gone to exportable annotation, and of course, when I try and close the Word document down now, of course, that work is in Word, and if I wanted to save it, obviously, it would permanently be saved within the Word document. So the two different types of annotation from the pencil icon here, are static annotation and exportable annotation. The next icon down shows the picture of a camera. By clicking on this button here, it gives me some snapshot options. By clicking, for example, on rectangular area snapshot here, it allows me to go to a piece of text or um, an icon or a picture, something of my choice, and select it by dragging and dropping, it will say that piece of work has been saved. We'll say OK. Now when we go back to links, lo and behold, there would be that piece of work saved to be utilised again and again. If we look now under screen captures, and I wanted to use that image again and again repeatedly, I could drag and drop it, drag and drop, and utilise that piece of work over and over. That's the default storage area while working outside of links with the handset using screen capture mode. Working further down these buttons here, this, if pressed, would launch my internet browser. We can access our calculator from here. We could access, once again, our keyboard from this point here. This creates a new page within links without having to jump from the handset back into links. These buttons towards the bottom here allow me to access all my onboard resources. So, for example, the bottom button here would launch my curtain and spotlight if so required. Or, for example, here, 
This allows me access to my clip art. The only other thing I need to show you on this handset here, we have uh, two arrows, two rotating arrows. If I press on this button here, it changes my icons into number buttons. This simply would allow me to drag and drop, say, a Word document, and that becomes now, by pressing on that number one button effectively, becomes a shortcut off to my Word document. To release that button, once again, a right mouse click, clear shortcut. And at the bottom here, you see that we have the ability to go to right mouse click by the handset. So the handset allows us to work outside of links with other applications. And we've seen that we can annotate and save within links, or as long as it's a Microsoft Office application, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, we also have the ability to annotate within those applications and save them within the application itself.